hello space fairies and land mermaids and sea horses. Uh, so this is just what I look like now. I realize it's been a while since I did any kind of piece to camera vlog. So welcome back to my face. I'm here to talk to you about quitting. Since living in London, I've had around 17 jobs. Two I was let go from. One, I was made redundant. Every single other one I quit. Well, you can't stay in the same place forever and believe me with some of these jobs it really did feel like forever. I mean sometimes quitting a job is just as simple as moving on and parting on good terms as unlikely friends. Other times Ooh, it's a bit more interesting than that. The first job I quit was also the first job I had in London which was working in a pub. It was fine. I mean it wasn't, but it paid the rent which made it better than average and I worked there for nearly two years. One weekend I had an eight hour shift at night, but a family reunion during the day. So we all met up for drinks in Soho and talked about how we were all doing and just the effort of talking about my job, let alone then explaining I'd have to leave early to go to it, almost killed me. An hour before my shift, I sadly said goodbye to my family and headed sadly towards the tube station. I never technically got, what's the word, there. Instead, I turned around I walked away and I veered into a nearby park where I sat under a tree thinking about how it was the only place I wanted to be right then. I didn't have control over anything else in my life at the time apart from where I could physically move my body to, so I just stayed under that tree. I text my boss, I don't think I'm going to make it in. He texts back, okay. I text my boss again, I don't think I'm going to make it in forever. He texts back, okay forever. I'll be real, he was always one of the good ones. By now you've probably done the maths. 17 jobs, eight years. Hey Chloe, I don't think you are at any of those jobs very long. Well, let me introduce you to the job that really just brings that average right down. It was a digital marketing job that lasted exactly six weeks and even that was pushing it. I won't go into details, but I will say, even though it's still the best paid job I've ever had, the working environment was hostile at best and a breach of the Human Rights Act at absolute worst. Anyway, I got the job in mid-September and was already looking for an out by October. Things were gearing up for the Christmas season and as I sat in my tragic cubicle writing Facebook posts about bespoke wardrobes, I thought about how much I missed my old, old job as a mall Santa's elf. I stopped writing Facebook posts just long enough to sneak onto the phone with my former elf manager. Turns out she was about to start elf recruitment for the winter and offers me a job immediately. I say I accept, I put the phone down and I delete every single file from my computer apart from a single PDF on the desktop, which when opened, simply listed detailed directions to the nearest exit. I stand up, I say I quit out loud, and then I go home. The elf job ended, as Christmas jobs tend to do, when Christmas ended. <laughs> and that is when I started a job as a theatre usher. A job that I enjoyed so genuinely thoroughly that I kept it up on weekends even after I got a nine to five office job a few months later. Weekdays were for writing copy, weekends were for watching touring productions of cats from the back of a theatre and occasionally telling people to turn off their phones. But sadly it couldn't last. So why would I quit a job that I actually enjoyed? One where I got to watch free theatre every weekend and wear a bow tie. Was it the pressure of working two jobs? Was it that my reduced shifts meant that my wages no longer covered the expense of my commute? Or was it because once, on the day before my shift, I was at a friend's house playing the Game of Thrones board game and it was so complicated and went on for so long that it carried over into a second day and then, on that second day, in the heat of battle, I called my manager two hours before I was due to start work to tell her I wasn't going to make it in. And then she said warningly if I missed the shift I would be taken off the payroll permanently and then I looked at the map of Westeros and I looked at the Lannisters and the Starks and the Baratheons and I said do it and I hung up. Who's to say? Maybe we'll pretend it was the first two reasons so that I never have to admit that I quit a job to play a board game that I ultimately lost. But as I said, most other times I have been able to walk away from my place of work amiably 
and without incident. Which... I've heard of worse things to put on a CV. 